Hey guys, Huda here from the.comgal.com and today I'm here with a new video about how to create a new user in WordPress. So let's get started. So the first thing we do once we are in our admin area in WordPress, we head over to users here and we click on add new. Now, there are many reasons why you would want to add a new user in your WordPress. Maybe you have a site where people are contributing as authors or as contributors, or you want to give access to someone else as an administrator because you probably are too busy and the website is really growing and you don't have time to you know, moderate and everything else. But be sure to actually trust that person very well before you give them administrator access. So how do we create a user in WordPress? It's very simple. Like I said, you already clicked on add new, you give them a username, you can give them any kind of username that you want or whatever they choose. For example, we can give them just a, a regular name like John Smith. Obviously, this is um, not a real name, but uh, you know, you can choose whatever name you want. Then you will need to enter an email address. We can just use, um, um, you know, a dummy one. For example, John Smith at gmail.com. It's already populated. Then you can give them a first name, for example, John, and then Smith, for example. And if they have a website, then you can put their website here. You can create a password or it's automatically generated by WordPress. Then you can just copy this and give it to them. And then here you have the option to send them an email to tell them about their new account, in which case you would want to do that, obviously, because you have a new user, so you want them to have their credentials. And here it's the important part where you have to choose what role are you giving them. Are you giving them a role of a subscriber where they can just log in into your website without actually adding anything or a contributor where they can add things? For example, if you have a recipe website and you want people to contribute with their content, maybe they want to share recipes with you. So you, you can create a username for them and then they can just come sign in and then submit their recipes so that you can actually give them credit for whatever recipe they have created, okay? If it's an author, if you have a multi-author website, maybe it's a short story website where you're accepting stories from other people, then you can you know, create an author username for that person. And just make sure again that if you ever decide to give admin access to anyone, they must be someone that you really trust because they could just steal your website and just you know kick you out of it completely. So once we are done with all the options, we just click here on add new. And there we have our new username right there, John Smith, the one that we've just created. So this is basically how you create a new user in WordPress. It's very easy, it's very simple. It takes like less than three minutes. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And once you do, press the bell button so that you're the first to know whenever something comes up. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.